Today we're going to take a look at how to configure our Oracle database to be used within SnapLogic. To do that, we need to create an Oracle database account. And there are two main ways to do this in SnapLogic. One is by dragging and dropping an Oracle DB snap onto the canvas, and then configure the account within the pipeline uh, folder. The other way is to create the account within a specific folder structure in the manager itself. For our demonstration today, we'll take a look at how to do it with, from within the designer and the pipeline itself. First, we're going to select an Oracle select snap onto the canvas. You can actually use any other Oracle specific snaps to do this. Once the snap is dragged and dropped onto the canvas, SnapLogic is going to ask you to select a pre-existing account. If you don't have one, go ahead and create a new account. And we're going to be using the Oracle Thin account today. We'll just go ahead and leave the selection as default and hit OK. We'll populate this value and then we'll go over every one of these fields. Okay, so I have all of the fields populated here. The ones that are, has a star next to the name of the field are require fields. First, I started by giving the account a name. And you can name this in any way you like, but it's recommended to name the account endpoint to something that you can recognize and it points to that specific instance uh, that you're referring to. The host name can be any uh, hosted Oracle DB instance. In this case, we use the Oracle DB hosted on AWS RDS. The port number should typically be 1521, but based off of your specific instance, you can modify that as well. From that point, provide a default database name, username and password that enables you to connect to this instance. And then the JDBC driver class should be kept default. Otherwise, if you want to use your own customer version of JDBC jar file outside of the ones that are provided by SnapLogic, feel free to click on this at row button and an entry will, will be created. And all you have to do is hit the select file icon, that database icon on the right hand side, pick the drive file that you've already loaded into your own specific project folder or hit the upload button to uh, select the specific job file that you want to use in this instance. From there, the rest of the configuration really has to do with the database specific type. The service name uh, should be enough for any default configuration. The advanced properties are very typical to any JDBC driver uh, that you might have used in the past, where you can select auto commit, batch size, uh, set timeouts, and max lifetime for any given connection. Optionally, you have the, uh, the choice to create a URL property. Uh, you can accept as many key value pairs as you like for any logging or additional uh, augmentation purposes against this particular driver. So once everything is set up, hit the validate button and the system will tell you whether or not the connection is successful via this pop-up. So if you run into any issues configuring this, feel free to contact SnapLogic support um, look at our documentation, as well as visit our community for any additional assistance. Thank you.